Now it's time for How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge Knives, field proven and razor sharp to get the job done fast. Hey, I'm Fred Eichler, and when you get done laughing at how I look without a hat on or how white my legs are, I am gonna show you how to skin an iguana. That is gonna be your Outdoor Edge How To segment for this week. We're in the Keys, we're with the kids, we're having a little bit of a vacation with Michelle's mom, having a great time, but of course, we like shooting and eating wild animals. We've already caught some fish. Jeb caught a giant mangrove snapper. But now, I'm gonna show you how to skin some iguanas. I'm using the Outdoor Edge fillet knife, and I'm gonna show you how to skin an iguana. I'm gonna start by taking the head off. One thing you have to be careful of when you're dealing with iguana is like chicken, they can carry salmonella. So, you wanna make sure when you cook them, you cook them thoroughly. So, what I'm gonna do is start by taking the head off this iguana. Head, see ya. All right, there's the head. Iguanas, like any reptiles, one, they have super strong skin. You can see how beautiful this one is. Super fluorescent green. They're gonna continue moving around even after you take their head off. So, first, I'm gonna come along, and again, this is a sharp, outdoor edge knife but you can see the spines along the back and again using a very sharp knife which is what I'm, I've got here I'm gonna cut these little spines right off the back before I do anything else all the way down like so so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut down the legs of this iguana just like I would because the good meat is on the legs and the tail. So I'm gonna cut down the legs just, so I, just like I would with anything else. I wanted to eat like a squirrel, anything else. So I'm gonna take them all the way down to the wrist. I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. I'm gonna grab him here and I'm gonna split his legs all the way up to the wrist. Then on the back leg, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Now, I'm gonna work on skinning this iguana. You can see what I'm doing is I literally am just grabbing him and I'm working that skin down like I would with a coyote hide. I'll turn it this way so you can kind of see. Like I would with a coyote hide, a bobcat hide, or anything else that I was working with. You can see I'm working around that meat. I hit a tough spot. I'll go back to the I'll go back to the knife. But what I'm trying to do is get all this worked off from the front so I can peel it straight back. Alright. So now I'm getting somewhere. Alright. When did you think your outdoor edge tip would be skinning an iguana? Well, when you're watching everything Eichler. That's when, right honey? Exactly. <laughs> Never a dull moment. All right, there's the back leg here. Let me get this other leg through. And I think I'll have uh, this iguana pretty well skinned out. All right, so now I'm just coming around again. This is where a sharp knife, extremely important. I'm cutting off the hind feet, and on iguana, you can kind of feel it right through there. Same like anything else, you want to take them right off at the joint there. That's the huge, nasty, pterodactyl looking feet. So now we have de footed them, and now I'm going to be careful. I don't want to puncture the intestine. So now, 
I'm gonna gut the iguana by taking him all the way up through the sternum here, center of the chest. All the good stuff right there. So now, I'm just gonna pull all this out. I'm gonna throw it in the water. And you can see how much fat. That's all iguana fat. So you can see what good shape this iguana was in. And now, exception of that one little piece of skin, which is off now, we have a skinned out iguana that looks a lot like a uh, squirrel on steroids. So there you go for your how-to outdoor edge tip, how to skin an iguana and get ready to eat it. Okay, the last thing I did here, and you can see is you want to take from the anus and I make a circle around the pelvic joint. You can see right through there. So we've got everything, the anus, the tube coming out, everything cleaned up on that iguana. Well now, I've got one more iguana to do, but I'm gonna give this one to Michelle so she can start cooking. Okay, so we boiled this about three hours and it is um, literally falling off the bone. And uh, I'll show you this. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cool it off. Here's the little vertebrae. And we're gonna go ahead and pick all that meat off and then we're gonna season it and have it for an appetizer. All right, so here it is. What did you add? I just made it like a chicken salad. So this is our iguana. And it tastes like chicken salad. <laughs> it really is good. It's a white meat. The other white meat. 